Well today we're having a conference um, hosted by the Big Sandy Safe Zone. We were awarded a grant by Just Fund Kentucky for $2,500 to host an educational conference about the LGBT plus community. We do have several people presenting. Uh, we have a professor, we have a director of medicine from U of L. We have the Lexington program coordinator for the Pride Community Services Organization or PCSO. You know, people who work in like my mother and substance abuse and stuff about the LGBT community and you know, uh, the issues that they face both in Appalachia and just in America and the world in general. There are a lot of you know, people in the LGBT community that do turn to substance abuse just because they feel like they have nobody and so they just turn to things like drugs or bad habits to kind of make up for the things they don't have anymore. And that's why this type of thing is so important because it's really just people not understanding these people and not understanding what these people go through. Where we live, like Kentucky, you know, people don't really talk about it. It's still kind of a you know, taboo thing, but there are you know, LGBT people everywhere and they are a huge part of you know, just like America in general. And people need to know about these issues because it's not just issues for the community, it's issues for everybody. They are part of every community. They are in every state, they are in every city, they are everywhere. From what I've noticed is whenever I have conversations with people about the community or identities or different topics that affect the community, um, it seems to raise awareness and understanding for our community and what we really stand for. Because there's a lot of propaganda that's been spread over time and I think it's really good to be able to have those conversations with people about you know, what it really means to be a part of this community. We welcome everybody who wants to learn or who wants to be a part of the community. Um, that's what it's all about. We really welcome anyone to take part in what we're doing to see this movement grow and affect change here in Eastern Kentucky.